difference between Chinese and European painting. The two stories show what each form of art tried to achieve. In the Chinese story, the emperor admires the outer appearance, but the artist reveals to him the true meaning of his work. The European painter wants you to look at the landscape exactly as he saw it from a particular angle. The European painter wants the viewer to borrow his eyes. The Chinese painter does not want to do so. He wants the viewer to enter his mind. Next, the author then talks about the Chinese concept of sanctuary, which means mountain river. The mountain represents yang, the male principle, and water signifies yin, the female principle. They have to interact in spite of the fact that they are like two poles of the universe. In Indian culture, yin, which is a receptive and female part, and yan, which is masculine and male part, are known as maya and brahma. Nature is the yin and God is the creator of the universe. Finally, the author talks about the concept of art brut, which means the raw art. It's art of the ones who are not artists as they lack any formal training, yet somehow they have the artistic talent in them. She gives an example of Nick Chand's work at Rock Garden in Chandigarh as one of the form of art brut. She, he created a beautiful rock garden in a patch of jungle. He made things out of waste. His work was appreciated all over the world. Let me show you the picture of the rock garden. You can have a look. You can see how beautifully he has created. He has used all the waste materials. They are broken forks, handles, metals, wire, anything, whatever he gets, he make use of it. So with this, the chapter ends. Hope you understood it. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me. Thank you.